We'll now look at equivalence relations. So a relation on a set A that's reflexive, symmetric, and transitive is known as an equivalence relation. And we, if we have two elements A and B that are related by an equivalence relation, we say they're equivalent. And we use this notation here, A tilde B, to denote that A and B are equivalent elements with respect to our relation. So for example, let's let R be the relation on the set of integers such that A is related to B if and only if A is equal to B or A is equal to negative B. We want to know if this is an equivalence relation. So this is considering of all points like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. In addition, 1, 1 and a half, 1 and a half, pi and pi, etc. In addition, we have points like 1 and negative 1, 1, uh, negative 1 and 1. 2 and negative 2, negative 2 and 2, etc. So we have that A is equal to B as one of our conditions. So this will give us reflexivity. If A, is in, if A, B is in R, then we have two conditions. Either A is equal to B or A is equal to negative B. If A is equal to B, then B is also equal to A. If A is equal to negative B, then negative A is equal to B. So either way, we also have BA is also in R. So it's also symmetric. For transitive, let's suppose AB is in there and BC. Then either A is equal to B or A is equal to negative B. In addition, B is equal to C or B is equal to negative C. And if you pick either of these options for A and B, and also pick one of the options for B and C, you'll come up with two results. Either A is equal to C or A is equal to negative C. So AC is also an R. So we have reflexive, we have symmetric, and we now have transitive. So this is an equivalence relation. Let's look at one where we say A minus B is an integer. Well, A minus A is zero, which is an integer, so it is reflexive. If a minus b is an integer, then so is b minus a, since the only difference would be a negative sign. So b, so b is also related to a, so it's symmetric. Now let's suppose a is related to b and b is related to c. Then we know that a minus b is an integer, b minus c is an integer. So a minus c can be rewritten as a minus b plus b minus c. So I know the first term is an integer. I also know b minus c is an integer. And adding two integers also gives me an integer. So this is transitive. So this is also an equivalence relation. Now let's look at modular arithmetic. So a is equal to b mod m if and only if, if, and only if m divides a minus b. So this was the original definition of modular arithmetic. So a minus a is equal to zero, which is divisible by anything. So a is equivalent to a mod m. So it is reflexive. For symmetric, a is equivalent to b, then a minus b is divisible by m, which means there is this integer k such that a minus b is equal to km. So b minus a would be negative km. So it's still divisible, and we have that b is equivalent to a mod m. So it's symmetric. Now let's suppose a is equivalent to b and b is equivalent to c. Then I know m divides a minus b and b minus c. So I have these integers, k, such that a minus b is equal to km, and l, b minus c is equal to lm. So a minus c once again is a plus a minus b plus b minus c. So this is km plus lm, and I can factor out the m. So I have this integer times m, so a is equivalent to c. So congruent, uh, congruence modulo m is an equivalence relation. Let's look at the divides relation and show that it's actually not an equivalence relation. And this comes from the fact that it's not symmetric. For example, 2 divides 4, but 4 does not divide 2. So this one is not an equivalence relation.
So we also have equivalence classes. So if we have an equivalence relation, the set of all elements that are related to an element, little a of a, is known as the equivalence class of a. And the equivalence class of a with respect to r is denoted by a sub r. When only one relation is under, con under consideration, we may delete the subscript and just write a in brackets. So in other words, if we have this equivalence relation r, then this bracket a is the set of all elements s such that a s is in r. So for example, let's consider my equivalence relation a is equal to b or a is equal to negative b. So for an integer is equivalent to itself and also it's negative. So the equivalence class of a is negative a a. So for instance, the equivalence class of 7 is negative 7, 7. The equivalence class of negative 5 is negative 5, 5. All of them will have two elements with the exception of 0. The equivalence class of 0 is just 0. Now let's look at equivalence classes of 0 and 1, congruence modulo 4. So the equivalence class of 0 means all integers, a, such that a is equivalent to 0 mod 4. So all the numbers that are divisible by 4 that would have no remainder. So we have negative 8, negative 4, 0, 4, 8, etc. The equivalence class of 1 is everything that would have a remainder 1. So negative 7, negative 3, 1, 5, 9, etc.